the Indian tectonic plate could be splitting into two. I will start with a question. How do you think the Himalayas were formed? Just a few years ago, Africa was torn apart by massive ground fissures. And now, the Indian subcontinent is on the brink of a split. In a recent jaw-dropping revelation, a research paper has shaken things up by claiming that the Indian subcontinent is on the verge of a split. States like Ladakh, Himachal Pradesh, and a few UP-like states might just vanish from the map of India. But the scary part is, people seem to be taking this news lightly, even though there are already cracks in the road big enough for a hand to fit through. In today's video, we're going to uncover the shocking truth about the potential split of the Indian subcontinent. The Indian Plate A shocking new research has rocked the world of geology, revealing that the Indian tectonic plate is undergoing a dramatic split right beneath the Tibetan Plateau. Yes, the very ground beneath our feet is shifting and breaking apart in a geological odyssey that is rewriting the textbooks on how our planet's highest mountains were formed. But before we dive into the juicy details of this mind-blowing discovery, let's take a step back and understand what exactly a tectonic plate is and why it's causing such a seismic stir. The Indian continental plate may sound like a minor player in the grand scheme of tectonic plates, but it holds a starring role in the formation of the majestic Himalayas and the sprawling Tibetan Plateau. This plate was once part of the ancient supercontinent Gondwana, but around 100 million years ago, it broke away and set off on a northward journey. Today, it encompasses most of South Asia, including the Indian subcontinent, and stretches into the basin under the Indian Ocean, reaching into parts of South China and Western Indonesia. Now here's where things get really interesting. The dense base of the Indian plate is not content with its current position and has decided to peel away and sink into the mantle below, causing a rift that is literally splitting the plate in two. It's like a dramatic breakup happening right under our noses and the consequences are seismic to say the least. So, what does this have to do with the mighty Himalayas? The Himalayas. The shocking new research has unveiled a mind-blowing revelation about the formation of the Himalayas. It's time to rethink everything we thought we knew about this majestic mountain range. We've always been told that the Himalayas were formed from the collision of the Indian plate with the Eurasian plate. But wait, there's more to the story. Some renegade researchers are shaking up the scientific community with a bold claim that challenges this long-standing theory. According to these maverick thinkers, it's not just a simple collision between two plates that created the Himalayas, it's way more dramatic than that. We are talking about claims of not two, but three plates, coming together in a cataclysmic clash of epic proportions. So 100 million years ago, there was a place called the Tethys Ocean, nestled between the Indian Plate and the Eurasian Plate. But here's where it gets really juicy. There was a third player in this ancient tectonic tango known as the Kishiroda Plate. According to this new research, when the Indian Plate burst through the Gondwana and collided with the Kishiroda Plate beneath the Tethys Ocean, all hell broke loose. The Kishiroda Plate buckled under the pressure, collapsing between the Indian and Eurasian Plates in a spectacular display of geological chaos. As if that wasn't enough, the base of the Tethys Sea began to rise above the beleaguered Kishiroda Plate while the Kshiroda Plate itself crumbled beneath the Eurasian Plate. The result? The very foundation of the Tethys Sea transformed into what we now know as the awe-inspiring Himalayan mountain ranges. But there's a twist in this tale. Even after this colossal collision, the Indian Plate kept on trucking towards the Eurasian Plate. And when these two giants finally collided, it was the grand finale that gave birth to the rest of the Himalayas as we know them today. Of course, as with any earth-shattering discovery, there are naysayers who refuse to believe this bold new theory. Some staunchly argue that while the Tethys Ocean did indeed exist between the Indian and Eurasian plates, it was not a plate in itself. It was a large body of water that separated the two land masses. So to them, while the Indian and Eurasian plates are the primary players in the formation of the Himalayas, other smaller plates and microcontinents, such as the Lhasa block, were involved in the complex tectonic interactions. However, these do not constitute a third major plate in the process. So till now, 
The exact mechanism for the formation of the Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau is still debated. But will this new theory stand the test of time, or will it crumble under the weight of opposing viewpoints? Only time will tell. One thing's for sure. When it comes to the story of how the Himalayas came to be, it's anything but a straightforward tale of plates colliding. Also, on one side of the debate, we have those who argue that they're not convinced that India is on the brink of a dramatic split. But on the other side, we have researchers who are waving their metaphorical flags and declaring that India is indeed undergoing a significant transformation. They argue that the evidence points to a clear and present danger of India splitting apart, and they're not about to let anyone reign on their parade. So what exactly is happening here? Are we witnessing the literal splitting apart of India? Or is this just another case of scientific debate gone wild? Let's dive into details and see if we can separate fact from fiction. And before we all start frantically Googling how to survive a continental breakup, let's take a step back and examine the evidence with a critical eye. After all, in the world of science, nothing is ever as straightforward as it seems. The astonishing discovery. The Himalayan mountains, a majestic landscape that spans across five countries, India, Pakistan, Nepal, China, and Bhutan have long been a subject of fascination for scientists. The tectonic forces at play beneath this breathtaking region have sparked heated debates among geodynamicists for decades. For years, there have been conflicting theories about the movement of the Indian plate, which forms the foundation of the Himalayas. Some scientists have staunchly argued that the Indian plate is resisting subduction into the mantle and instead sliding horizontally beneath the Eurasian plate. On the other hand, an opposing faction has adamantly claimed that the Indian plate is indeed subducting beneath the Eurasian plate and melting into magma. However, in a groundbreaking turn of events, an international team of geodynamicists has proposed a radical new perspective that challenges these traditional beliefs. Drawing inspiration from a popular meme, they have boldly declared, why not both? Their revolutionary study suggests that the Indian plate particularly in the region of Tibet, is undergoing a process known as delamination. This phenomenon involves the upper part of the plate scraping along the Eurasian plate, while the lower part splits off and subducts into the mantle. The implications of this astonishing discovery are nothing short of mind-boggling. By unraveling the dynamics occurring some 60 to 125 miles beneath the surface of the Himalayas, Scientists can gain unprecedented insights into the formation of these awe-inspiring mountains. Also, understanding these processes holds the key to predicting and mitigating potential earthquake threats in the region. Speaking of earthquakes, just how dire is the situation? Earthquakes. Recent research has uncovered that the Indian plate is actually tearing itself apart, and the consequences are shaking things up in a big way. As the plate undergoes this delamination process, it's releasing tectonic stresses in the form of earthquakes. And let's just say, the recent tremors felt across the Indian subcontinent are a clear sign that something major is brewing deep within the Earth's crust. In fact, northern India and Nepal have been hit with a whopping 97 earthquakes of magnitude, 3.0 to 3.9 from January to November 2023. That's a whole lot of shaking going on, especially when you compare it to the 41 quakes in 2022 and 2021 and 42 in 2020. And as if that wasn't enough, the region also experienced 21 earthquakes of magnitude 4.0, 4.9 from January to November 2023, compared to 20 in 2022 and 18 each in 2021 and 2020. But scientists have been using earthquake waves to take a closer look at the damage to the Indian plate's crust. And what they found is enough to send shivers down your spine. Evidence of widespread fractures and tears, stretching for hundreds of kilometers across the plate. These fractures could very well be the warning signs of future earthquakes, potentially posing a significant threat to the millions of people who call this region home. So the new insight into the Himalayas that we mentioned earlier could be a game changer when it comes to predicting earthquakes and other natural hazards in the region. It might even shine a light on the processes that have shaped other mountain ranges around the world. But what's causing this seismic upheaval? According to the study, 
The collision rate of tectonic plates is actually faster in the oceans than on land. When oceanic and continental plates collide, the denser oceanic plate slides beneath the lighter continental plate in a process known as subduction. This process, the researchers suggest, could be leading to an increase in earthquakes in North India, Northeast India, and Tibet. The prospect of India splitting apart at its very core is undeniably alarming. The implications for the region are profound, and the urgency of further research cannot be overstated. But as we delve deeper into this captivating geology, one thing is certain. The Earth never ceases to surprise us with its awe-inspiring mysteries, and the ground beneath our feet is not as steady as we once thought. Unraveling the mysteries beneath Tibet. In a shocking discovery that has left the scientific community reeling, a team of researchers led by Simon Klemperer of Stanford University has uncovered evidence that suggests India is splitting apart. The key to this mind-boggling revelation lies in the discovery of helium-3, an incredibly rare substance on Earth that is believed to have originated from the planet's formation. Astonishingly, high concentrations of helium-3 have been found in several Tibetan springs, leading the researchers to conclude that the mantle, the layer of rock beneath the Earth's crust, is perilously close to the surface north of Tibet, allowing helium-3 to seep through. But here's where it gets even more jaw-dropping. Further south, the leaking gas is predominantly helium-4, indicating that the plate has not yet split in that region. It's as if a barrier has been formed, preventing helium from passing through. However, there is one peculiar exception, an area near Bhutan, where the researchers suspect that the mantle has breached the crust, creating bizarre signals that defy conventional understanding. Also, it becomes more astonishing when we consider the earthquake patterns in the region, which seem to support the hypothesis that the intrusion of the mantle originated from the eastern side of the plateau. It's almost as if the very shape of the Indian plate, thicker in the north and thinner on the flanks, has conspired to aid this extraordinary process. With the center of the plate sinking at a faster rate, even the relatively low pressure of the mantle material above it can cause it to flake off. While we're still grappling to fully comprehend these mind-bending geological processes, it's clear that these findings have opened up a Pandora's box of new insights into Earth science. It's as if we've stumbled upon a whole new chapter in our understanding of how continents can undergo monumental changes over vast stretches of geological time. So, we need to be prepared, because the very ground beneath our feet is shifting and cracking in ways we never thought possible. But how on earth did the brilliant minds behind this earth-shattering revelation manage to uncover such a seismic secret? Splitting phenomenon, Stanford geophysicist Simon Klemperer, a maverick in the world of geological exploration, set his sights on a region near Bhutan in northeastern India, where the subduction zone takes a curious turn due to the uneven composition of the Indian plates. Armed with cutting-edge technology and an insatiable curiosity, Klemperer embarked on a quest to unravel the mysteries lurking beneath the Earth's surface. His weapon of choice, isotope measurements of helium, particularly helium-3, that bubbled up from nearby springs. After meticulously collecting samples from over 200 springs spanning a whopping 600 miles, Klemperer and his team stumbled upon a jaw-dropping revelation. They discovered a distinct boundary where mantle rocks, indicative of subduction, abruptly met crust rocks devoid of any subduction activity. But three springs located south of this boundary exhibited unmistakable mantle signatures, suggesting that the Indian plate was undergoing a dramatic split right before their very eyes. As if that wasn't enough to send shockwaves through the scientific community, seismic analysis from hundreds of monitoring stations added another layer of evidence to this mind-bending saga. The data pointed to two enigmatic blobs lurking beneath the surface, hinting at the possibility of a lower slab detaching from a higher slab. So, why does this mind-bending revelation matter? Well, for starters, gaining a deeper understanding of why and how tectonic plates decide to pull a why-not-both maneuver could revolutionize our ability to predict and prepare for earthquake hazards, not just in the Himalayas, but in fault lines across the globe. 
It's like peering into the Earth's playbook and gaining insights that could potentially save countless lives in the future. In the grand scheme of things, this groundbreaking research serves as a potent reminder of how little we truly know about the forces that shape our world. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with pieces scattered across multiple dimensions, each discovery leading to even more mind-bending questions. But that's what makes science so exhilarating, isn't it? The thrill of uncovering hidden truths and rewriting the story of our planet, one seismic revelation at a time. Geological Implications The geological implications of India continental plate splitting are significant and far-reaching. This is no small matter. We're talking about some serious tectonic action that could shake up the very foundations of our planet. One of the most notable geological implications of India continental plate splitting is the potential for the formation of new mountain ranges. The collision of the Indian plate with the Eurasian plate has already resulted in the formation of the Himalayas, one of the most iconic mountain ranges in the world. As the Indian plate continues to move northward and potentially splits, it could give rise to new mountain ranges with profound geological and environmental impacts. We are looking at brand spanking new mountain ranges popping up all over the place. Also, when plates collide, things heat up, literally. Convergent plate boundaries are known for their volcanic shenanigans, and the splitting of the Indian plate is likely to turn up the heat in the region. We're talking increased volcanic activity, new volcanic features, and landforms. In addition to mountain building and volcanic activity, the potential splitting of the Indian plate could mean even more rumblings and grumblings like earthquake. Earthquakes often occur in close proximity to plate boundaries, and the splitting of the Indian plate may lead to more frequent and intense earthquakes in the affected regions. These seismic events could have devastating consequences for the local population and infrastructure. The formation of new deep ocean trenches is another potential outcome of the splitting of the Indian plate. Deep ocean trenches are typically found at convergent boundaries, where one plate is subducting beneath another. The splitting of the Indian plate could lead to the creation of new deep ocean trenches in the region, which would have significant implications for oceanic and geological processes. Also, the splitting of the Indian plate could influence the formation of island arcs. Island arcs are curved chains of volcanic islands that form along subduction zones. The process of plate tectonics resulting from the splitting of the Indian plate could give rise to new island arcs in the region, with implications for biodiversity, geology, and environmental processes. The potential formation of new mid-ocean ridges is also a significant implication of the splitting of the Indian plate. Mid-ocean ridges are underwater mountain ranges that form at divergent boundaries where plates are moving apart. The splitting of the Indian plate could lead to the creation of new mid-ocean ridges, which would impact oceanic processes and seafloor spreading in the region. And then there are rift valleys to consider. These valleys form when plates are moving apart on land, leading to the creation of new ocean basins. If the Indian plate decides to split, we could see some new rift valleys forming in the region. Talk about a whole new landscape taking shape right before our eyes. Finally, the splitting of the Indian plate could lead to the formation of new fault lines in the region. These are fractures in the Earth's crust where blocks of crust have slipped past each other, often seen at transform boundaries. If the Indian plate splits, we could see some new fault lines forming in the region, which would have all sorts of implications for seismic activity and landscape evolution. The fate of India, the delamination of this plate could spell trouble for the entire region with potential consequences ranging from landslides to climate chaos. First off, let's talk about the geological instability that could rock the region. We're not just talking about a little shake here and there. We're talking about landslides galore. The changing stresses in the Earth's crust could trigger a landslide extravaganza, causing all sorts of mayhem. And as if that's not enough, river courses could be thrown into disarray leading to flooding or even the creation of new waterways. It's like Mother Nature's version of a roller coaster ride. The tectonic movements could also throw a wrench into the region's climate patterns. The rise of the Tibetan Plateau could mess with the monsoon patterns that are so crucial for agriculture in the Indian subcontinent. And changes in rainfall distribution could have ripple effects on water resources and agriculture. 
Now, let's not forget about our furry and feathery friends. The changes in the landscape could seriously mess with the ecological balance of the region. Species that are used to a certain altitude or climate might find themselves out of their element, leading to a shakeup in biodiversity. And who knows, we might even see some species waving goodbye for good. And as if all that wasn't enough, there's the little matter of socioeconomic impacts. We're talking roads, bridges, and buildings getting a serious case of the shakes. Earthquakes and landslides could wreak havoc on infrastructure, leading to economic losses that'll make your head spin. So the fate of India hangs in the balance. Similar events, history is rife with examples of Mother Nature throwing some serious tectonic tantrums. Let's take a stroll down memory lane and check out some of these earth-shaking events. First up, we've got the 2017 earthquake in Mexico. This event caused a part of the tectonic plate beneath Mexico to pull a Houdini and split apart. And it happened faster than a cheetah on roller skates. The result? A whole lot of energy got unleashed, and it was not pretty. This little episode served as a stark reminder of just how much destruction these tectonic shenanigans can cause. Also, back in 1939, the town of Chilin in Chile got a rude awakening when an earthquake decided to make an uninvited appearance. The result? At least 30,000 people met their untimely demise. Tectonic plates don't mess around when it comes to wreaking havoc. And let's not forget about continental drift and subduction. The theory of plate tectonics tells us that the continents we know and love today were once snuggled up together in a supercontinent called Pangaea. But about 225, 200 million years ago, Pangaea decided it needed some space and started breaking up. This breakup has been ongoing ever since, and it's been quite the roller coaster ride in Earth's geological history. The geological process in Ethiopia, which kicked off around 1 million years ago, and then sauntered its way down to Mozambique, was like a sizzling hot dance party for the Earth's crust. Imagine a hot spot of magma heating things up, causing the crust to split and creating quite the stir. This event wasn't just a geological shindig, it had some major implications for human evolution and the landscape of East Africa. This is a geological event that comes with some serious consequences, so it's important to be prepared. But how can we get ready for such an earth-shattering occurrence? To-do list. Preparing for a significant geological event is not just about strapping on a hard hat and hoping for the best. It takes a whole lot of strategic thinking and preparation. So grab your geological gear and let's get cracking. First things first. Let's talk about boosting our seismic monitoring game. We're not talking about just slapping a few seismometers here and there. We need to amp up our game to detect those early warning signs. It's like giving the Earth a checkup before it decides to throw a temper tantrum. After all, nobody likes surprises, especially when they come in the form of tectonic plate shenanigans. Next on our to-do list is beefing up our infrastructure resilience. We're talking about giving our buildings and bridges a serious upgrade to make sure they can handle the Earth's wobbles and shakes. Think of it as giving our cities a sturdy set of armor to shield them from nature's wrath. Emergency preparedness is also key in this geological game plan. We're not just talking about having a few emergency kits stashed away. We need comprehensive plans that involve regular drills, evacuation routes, and well-equipped emergency services. Of course, we can't forget about spreading the word on earthquake readiness. Educating the public about the risks and what they can do to protect themselves is crucial. It's like giving everyone a crash course in Earthquake Survival 101. After all, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to dodging Mother Nature's curveballs. Research and collaboration are also vital players in this geological game. We need to invest in understanding the dynamics of plate tectonics and share knowledge and resources internationally. It's like putting our heads together to crack the geological code. After all, two heads are better than one when it comes to deciphering the Earth's mysteries. Let's not overlook the role of environmental planning in this grand geological scheme. Considering geological risks in urban planning is essential. Because let's face it, we don't want to be caught with our city planning pants down when the Earth decides to throw a curveball. Economic measures also come into play in this geological extravaganza. Establishing funds and insurance schemes to support recovery efforts can help communities bounce back from nature's financial blows. Last but not least, tech. 
We need to encourage the development of new technologies for monitoring, prediction, and response. It's like giving Mother Nature a taste of her own medicine with our technological advancements. Because hey, if she's going to throw us a geological curveball, we might as well be ready to throw one right back at her. So there you have it. Preparing for a significant geological event takes more than just crossing our fingers and hoping for the best. It's all about strategic thinking, preparation, and a whole lot of wit. So let's roll up our sleeves and get ready to face the Earth's mighty forces. Because when it comes to geological events, it pays to be prepared. Thanks for watching. For a more thrilling story, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen.